welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lily and today I'm going to be showing you an exciting way to use the new veg cinnamon roll protein. Yeah, here it is. So my husband just ordered this. He uses veg all the time. I use protein powder every now and then, but not a ton. But he has requested that I make it into an ice cream. So he did buy me a Ninja Creamy for Valentine's Day and I've been using it all the time. I love it so much. Seriously, it's the best. And I'm going to use this cinnamon roll protein to make a cream cheese cinnamon roll ice cream. So let's go ahead and jump to the recipe. It's so easy. You just blend it all in a blender and then you pour it into your Ninja Creamy pint. Freeze it overnight and then blend it in the Ninja Creamy the next day. So I'll show you guys how to make the mix for it. So you're gonna need a high speed blender. I'm gonna use my Vitamix. And a few simple ingredients. Okay. So I'm gonna start off with one cup of soy milk. And I'm just gonna use unsweetened. Gotta grab another box. Okay, so one cup of soy milk going in. Next, I've been really enjoying adding some vegan yogurt to my Ninja Creamy mixtures. So I think it helps make it really creamy. And you know, Froyo is a thing and it gives Froyo vibes and it's really good. This one is just plain unsweetened almond milk. And I'm not going to be using too much. I'm going to do about a fourth a cup. And then for the cream cheese part, uh, I was thinking like cream cheese icing on a cinnamon roll. And so I'm going to do some of the Kite Hill cream cheese. I use this stuff all the time. Love it a lot. And I'm just going to do about a quarter of the container. So that would be about two ounces. Which is probably like three or four tablespoons. And then I'm also going to do a fourth a cup of maple syrup. And this is optional, but I do want it to be a little sweeter since it is a cinnamon roll flavor. And then I am going to throw in one banana as well. And this one has a huge brown spot. Sad face. I'll just kind of tear that off. Because we don't want to use that part. Okay. There we go. And then I'm also going to do half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I just really want to boost the cinnamon roll flavor. And then I am going to do just a teeny little bit of salt, not much at all, like less than an eighth of a teaspoon, just to balance out the sweetness. And last but definitely not least, the veg cinnamon roll protein. I'm going to do one scoop. And I want this to be two servings worth, so I'm going to do two scoops of this. Just give it a little mix so that the protein doesn't like shoot up everywhere in the blender. And then we're just going to blend. And I'm going to give it a 
taste just to make sure all the flavors are right. Oh my gosh, that tastes even better than I thought it would. Oh, mm. okay. Going in our Ninja Creamy Pint now. Mmm. Perfect amount. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so good. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna put the lid on this and it's gonna go in the freezer and it's recommended for it to sit in here for at least um, overnight I think they recommend 24 hours sometimes I just do um, less maybe like 18 20 hours and I find that it's still pretty good like that but I will uh, mix it up tomorrow evening and show you guys what it looks like and excuse my potato mountain as we call it it's actually dwindled quite a bit but i did order like a ginormous batch of hawaiian sweet potatoes and so i had to like freeze them all because i could not eat them all so that's potato mountain anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow night okay hey, so it's the next day and i have my cinnamon roll ice cream i just pulled it out of the freezer and i'm gonna leave it on the counter for about 10 minutes just to let it thaw a little bit um, another way you could do it is just run it under hot water for about 30 seconds and that will just make sure the edges are good and melted and that they blend smoother and then into creamy. So um, after this sets out, then I'll show you how to throw it in the Ninja Creamy and let it do its thing. All right, so I'm just going to pop open the pint and I'm going to put it inside of the holder. Just place the lid on top. There we go. And then you're gonna twist it up. Make sure you turn it on. And we are gonna do this one on a light ice cream. Okay, you just finished the first spin, but I already know it's gonna need a second spin. Because it always does, and I'll show you why. So you can see, um, after the first spin, if it looks a little powdery like this, and then that means it needs another spin. So you just put it back in there and then you can just hit respin. Okay, so I'm gonna give this ice cream a try. I haven't tasted it yet, so this is a true taste test. And I'm so excited. Here we go. Mo, nobody, don't jump up here. Okay, let's give it a try. Holy smokes. That just took my taste buds for a ride, let me tell you. It tastes like a cinnamon roll with cream cheese icing. Wow, that's really good. Mmm. And there's so much protein in this. Let me tell you. Because I'll I put two scoops of this to batch protein. So one scoop is 25 grams. So there's at least 50 grams of protein in this pint. Not saying I would eat the whole thing, but I would eat half of it. Jake would eat the other half. So I mean you don't feel like making a protein shake this day or you just didn't get enough protein in your day uh, we'll have some of this ice cream instead and enjoy every bite because it's so delicious so happy with this recipe and I hope you guys are too if you decide to try it please comment down below and if you haven't got yourself a ninja creamy yet this is your sign to get one I put it off for a while too and I use my blender and my food processor but let me tell you it's not the same this is life changing and it is so good you won't regret it summer's coming up you're gonna be wanting ice cream so just go ahead get a ninja creamy 
As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.